The following program is paid for by Main Street Living. Hi, I'm Pastor Matthew Harrison, president of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. Starting in the late 1950s, Lutheran Hour Ministries aired a television program called This is the Life in their efforts to bring Christ to the nations. It was a critically acclaimed show that used story and drama to convey eternal truths from God's Word. And it featured actors who were just getting started in their careers. Recently, Lutheran Hour Ministries, in partnership with Main Street Living, remastered and brought to HD quality about 50 of these programs. You may notice some young actors who have become very famous. And even though the props and styles are of the 1960s and 70s, the subject matter is still very relevant. So please sit back and enjoy this week's episode of This is the Life. Oh, I know better than to try that. <laughs> hey, listen, I thought you'd make with a little miracle, you know? Grow me a couple of new legs or something. Is he awake yet? No. Listen, I thought we had a deal. Nobody else in the room. How else are you and I going to be alone, huh? Promises, promises. I'll be back in just a minute. Oh. Would you? Took his arm, huh? Yeah. That's tough. I was hoping I could be here when he woke up, but they want me upstairs. Didn't he know they were going to take him? Yes, he knew. Then he'll be all right. Don't worry about it. Well, not everyone's as cool as you are, Kurt. Hey, Chaplain. Hey, listen, you ever need any good advice or anything? You know, I'm always available. You know that. Thanks. So am I. How you doing, huh? You want to drink the water? My name's Kurt. Yourself. You understand that? <laughs> How bad it is, it will be better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 
Try to get some rest now. Sergeant. think so or not. Some people need help. trying to talk to your roommate. Oh, he's not much of a talker, boy. I know. Listen, I'll tell you what, though. He's a pretty good moaner, though. That guy moans when he's awake, and he moans when he's asleep. You know what he is? He's a pain, is what he is. He's one unhappy man, is what he is. If I could only get him to open up. <laughs> hey, do you think you could talk to him? Talk about what? Well, anything. Just get him started. Do you think you could talk to him? Hey. You want a candy bar? Hey. Hey. You want the TV? There's a spy thing on. The previews look pretty good. Boy. I'm gonna tell you something. You gotta be tough, you know? <laughs> Boy, you remind me a lot of Billy Cole. How long we been running? A month? A year, maybe? Just hang in there. You gotta be tough, Billy. I hit him. I hit him. I heard him groan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, we're staying here. Just rest here for a minute. Just rest. Let me see that lighter. You think it's safe? Yeah, it's safe. Come on. Are you scared? Yeah. Is that your first back there with it? Yeah, my first. You gotta be tough, Billy, you know. Lots of things in this world gotta be faced. You're by yourself, man. Yeah. Everybody's that way. Most guys don't learn that. Not for a long time, but... Some poor creeps never learn. But it's the truth, you understand me? It's the truth. You gotta be tough, do you hear? Look, just do you hear me? Up, just back off of me. If that's what you believe, just keep it to yourself. Hey, man. Hey, everybody's the same. You hang in. You bluff it if you have to. But whatever it is, you do it. That's the point. There isn't anybody else, only you. You understand me? Hey, Kurt, what are you saying, boy? Please, boy, it's good to see you. How you doing? Oh, 
fine. Good as grit. Fine, fine. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Sit down, sit down, will you? You look good. I feel real good. Hey, listen, tell me all about that ranch. You got used to Oregon yet, have you? Oh, it? yeah, yeah. It's fine, fine. Took me a better part of a year to get used to the weather. But it's great. I wouldn't go back to Texas on a bet. Now, as soon as you can travel, I want to get you up there. Stay as long as you want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm counting on that. I, I am. I sure am sorry you're not going to be there to stay. Yeah. You made a lot of plans. Yeah. You know, I'm going to do some ranching up in Oregon. It's pretty up there, isn't it? Yeah. I've never seen it. Yeah, it's beautiful, boy. I can hardly wait. Hey, you know what? <laughs> hey, I met this old coot at the bar in San Francisco. When I was on leave, you know what his name was? Cletus. His name was Cletus. Cletus? <laughs> Cletus. He just bought this place up in Oregon. He was moving up from Texas. And you know what happened the next day? I went up with him. We went both up to Oregon together. You liked it, huh? Oh, yeah. As soon as I laid eyes on it, boy. I'm going to buy into this place. Work there. Boy, oh, it's hard work, though. I'll tell you. It's pretty, though. I'll be there inside of two months. It's not the first time my plans have been messed up, though. That's life, right? I can handle it. Listen, I got to thinking driving down here. When you get your legs, maybe you can still get up in the saddle, you know? No, 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 Cletus. Come on, no, Kurt. Think. Cletus, no use thinking about it now. Hey, you know what? You know what I've been reading about? Computers. Well, it's a going thing, I guess. Yeah, I might go to school. <laughs> you? Yeah, me. Hey, come on, let's go inside. It's hot out here, okay? I guess Dorothy never wrote or anything, huh? No. Did you tell her what I asked you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just what you said. Good. Just the way you said. Yeah. They don't let me forget before I leave. I sneaked in a little present. Did you? Oh, just a little something. What, bourbon? How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> You too much, boy. Yeah. You think everything, don't you? Well, I try. Yeah, sit down, sit down, come on. Hey, you are. Oh, thanks a lot. That's great, boy. <laughs> hey, this is Danny Raven, Cletus. Hi, you, Danny. I'm glad to know you. Danny's not much of a talker. Nope. He's not much of a talker at all. Me? Yes, dear. I'm looking for a Sergeant Curtis Haynes. Well, she's as right for me as that country is, you know. I'm gonna build me a place up there. A the big fireplace. Lots of windows. Hmm. It's everything I ever wanted, you know. You think she'll wait for you? Oh, she'll be there. Hi. I had to come to see you. Are you mad at me? Didn't Cletus tell you about me? Yes, he did. Well, you don't look different. A nervous breakdown's not anything. You. Why didn't you want to see me? Did Cletus bring you down? No. I wanted to come with him, but he wouldn't let me. I could stand it, though. I, I didn't sleep five minutes last night. I got on a bus first thing this morning. Here I am. Are you really sorry I came? Yeah. A nervous breakdown isn't anything. You'll get over it. Please let me help you. We were always able to talk. Kurt, please don't shut me out. You know, I, I think we could solve just about anything together. The 
nerve breakdown's not really the reason, is it? No. Did you just change your mind? People change, I know that. You want to know? Hmm? Yes. You really want to know? You sure? Hmm? Yes. You look. You look. You laugh for cry, but you look. We look. did not. Why didn't you write me? Why didn't you? What do you mean, me? write? So you could practice getting used to it, so you wouldn't throw up. So you could no, practice. no. Oh, get out of here. That. Get out of here. Go on. Get out of here. Why are you doing this? Thing? Go on. Get out. Get out. Get out. Run on back to that bus station, please. Get out. <laughs> Give him a half a dozen, will you? I want to get some sleep tonight. I think maybe you need the half dozen. Good night, Danny. You know, Sergeant, I'm going to ask the doctor to prescribe a little glucose for you. Might sweeten your disposition. How many you got? Huh? How many you got? How many? What are you doing? Huh? Never mind what I'm doing. Huh? How many you got? Huh? huh? No! Now, how hey! many? Wonder. You want to kill yourself? You go ahead, you kill yourself. Let somebody else have the space, huh? say? Came to say goodbye. I'm checking out of this joint. My girl's coming to get me tonight. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Come on. Sit down. Sit down. Here, have a drink. I made it myself. You made it yourself? <laughs> yeah, really? No, I didn't. The guy don't brought it in. Oh. Go ahead. It's good. Believe me. Hey, don't worry about that. Go ahead. Drink. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I came to say thanks again. Oh, you already did. Forget it. Well, you know what I mean, sir. Ah, oh, Billy. Come on, let's get going. Are you all right, sir? 
Sergeant. Yeah. Hey, you want another one? No, no, thank you. I better get going. I just wanted to be sure you knew how I felt. I'll be saying thanks the rest of my life. Oh, Billy, you can't, can't go around doing that. Uh, listen, I hope things go good for you. I do. Well, I'll see you. <laughs> right. Goodbye, sir. me to come up. I figured. Did you send your girlfriend away? I took her off the hook. Okay, if we talk. I, 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 don't, I don't feel like talking. Since when? I'll tell you since when. Since I lost my legs, and my guts, and my girl, and my dreams, and everything I ever had. Now, how's that for openers, Padre? Well, I heard someone say you got to be tough, Kurt. Yeah, that's right, Chaplain. What else is there? I had everything worked out just right, didn't I? Now I got nothing. Not one thing. That's not true. You have got something, but you're closing your eyes to it. Ever since the first day you've been in here, I've tried to talk to you. I've tried to talk to you about someone who could give meaning to what's happened to you. Someone who could help you not only to accept it, but to pick yourself up and to go on from there. But you won't listen to me. Listen, Chaplain, I know that's what you get paid for, but please, don't give me that God stuff. I'm making it on my own. I just got a little upset today, that's all. If you'd been making it on your own, Kurt, you'd still be in that shell hole. God had a hand in bringing you from there to here. He sent people to help you. Pilots, surgeons, nurses, your girl. You might be right about the others. But not about her. She ran out on me today. Couldn't handle it. Did she run out on you? Or did you throw her out so you could make your point? Hey, now, you hold on. No, hold no, on. you hold on. If God had been treating you the way you've been treating yourself and everyone else around here, you'd really be in trouble. But he doesn't, though. God doesn't take out his anger on us because of the way we act. He gives us his love. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, to love us, to accept us, to give his life for us. His death gives you hope. Strength, courage, courage to surmount your difficulties. God can love you that much. It's only right that you should be able to love other people. And sometimes loving someone else is simply giving them the chance to help. You see, God, Christ, love. Love. They do have something to do with the way you feel tonight. And 
Kurt, you've got a whole life to live. figured out. You know, the way to beat this rap? Just keep moving around. You know, a guy stays in the sack all the time. He goes stir crazy, you know? What we need is a little action. You especially, you know? Next time Doc comes in, I'm going to tell him to let you go out in the garden for a while. Might help. You never know. It could possibly make some good things, you know? Hey, Danny. What do you think about that, huh? Danny? Hey, I'm talking to you. Boy, he sleeps Saturday. It's not had a good idea, what? Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Danny. Hey, wake up, will you? Danny. Hey! Is the Life is brought to you by the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, in cooperation with the Lutheran Layman's League, and is presented by this station as a public service to the religious life of the community. I hope you found this program to be both entertaining and insightful. Even though the show was filmed decades ago, the concerns of those days seem to parallel many situations of today. We'll be back next week with another episode of This Is The Life. In the meantime, I invite you to seek further wisdom from God's Word, the Bible, and I invite you to visit one of our congregations in your area. We are the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, and you will find our 6,000 congregations listed at www.lcms.org. This program has been brought to you by Main Street Living, which relies on the generosity of viewers to support this programming. They appreciate your prayers and would also appreciate your financial support. You can view additional episodes of This Is The Life on the Main Street Living website. Thanks for watching. And join us again next week, same time, same channel, for another episode of This is the Life. This has been a production of Main Street Living Incorporated in conjunction with the South Dakota District of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Senate and its member churches. Send your comments and contributions to Main Street Living, 1400 South Duluth Avenue, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, 57105.